Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. My name's Adam. So I've had a lot of people ask me about what kind of tools that I use on the lathe whenever I'm doing some turning. Uh, you know, specifically carbide insert tools. I've got a few that I use and I thought I would go ahead and, and discuss a few and show you the ones that I use. The, the, the more common carbide insert tools that I use. I've got several, but uh, I've got a few of the common ones laid out here that I use and even a couple that you haven't seen before. And uh, I thought I would just kind of go over this and and uh, and show you what I use, some of the inserts that I use. Now, there's, there's a lot to carbide tools and uh, I don't know them all. There's, there's so many variations out there and I just kind of stick to the ones that work for me. I've got a few memorized and, and I, I remember what inserts they are but there's uh, tons of different type of carbide tools out there, especially in the CNC world. When, whenever you get into CNC work and uh, CNC milling work, there's lots of different kinds and, and uh, they're, they're expensive. So we've got the ones that, that serve us well here and I just kind of stick to those. So that's what I'm gonna discuss is, and, and show you what I use here. So I'll probably, um, I'll probably go ahead and reposition the camera around here a little bit closer and uh, give you a little closer shot of my tools and we'll talk about some of these inserts. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna start with the uh, ones that I use the most and uh, that's this turning tool right here. Now this insert is a CNMG 431 and this is this is the one that, that I recently used in my uh, facing video and I also uh, had sent uh, Keith Finner one of these to try and I, I got some of these because the uh, the Iscar sales guy was telling me hey man you know I can save you some money and these do a great job so he gave me a few samples and I've been trying them out and uh, I actually recently bought some at work and, and I've been using these quite a bit and they work good uh, I don't have the package here to tell you the specifics on this Iscar insert but they're not too expensive. You can buy a pack of 10 of these for uh, I think it was about 68 bucks for, for 10 of them. And it doesn't matter if it's the 432 or 433, uh, they're all about the same price. But this is the most common turning tool that I use right here. I, I've always liked this one. You can see I've got this side ground here to give me a little more clearance up by the center when I'm doing smaller stuff. And uh, I've got a right and a left of this right here. And this is an old one. This is one that my dad bought a long time ago. This is a kin of metal. And it's still working good. The, the, uh, the next one that I, that I use, not as quite as often, but it's, uh, it's still used. And this is this one here. You can see I've got my name on it because I actually use it at work some. I've got a right and a left of this. This one right here is a WNMG insert, also known as a Trigon. You get six cutting tips with uh, the WNMGs, where uh, the CNMG you get you get four. These other corners here are not used on a lathe tool, but the uh, WNMG is also another very popular tool to use. And uh, the, these inserts are uh, commonly about the same cost as you would pay for a CNMG, except you get you get two extra cutting edges on this one. Now this here is also another one of those new ISCAR inserts and, and I like that. I believe this is a, um, a PP style of insert that has to do with the, the, uh, the chip breaker, the, the, the mold that they put on it. It's got a nice positive cutting edge inside there, inside the, uh, you know, the chip breaker. It, it, it makes a nice positive cut so it's, uh, you can get you can pull off a chip a lot easier with this and you can get better finishes. That's what, kind of what this one's designed for is like medium to uh, finish machining. But as I said, uh, you know, I've got the right and left of these and, and I use these also. That's the WNMG. So those are probably my most common turning tools that I use right there. Now going back to the CNMG. There's another style of turning tool that I don't personally have that I know a lot of guys have and use 
and that is a um, uh, I'm trying to remember CC CCMT I believe CCPT I'm probably telling you that wrong I've been researching a little bit because they seem to be really popular CCMT that's it I believe that's it CCMT and it looks like this style of insert except the CNMG is a negative rake and um, a CCMT the the tool itself I believe they're on uh, a neutral rake and the, the way the chip the uh, carbide is made it creates a positive cut and it's flat on the bottom side so you actually only get two cutting edges on the CCMT inserts but they're very popular especially on smaller machines and for for lighter cuts if you're not hogging and taking lots of metal off I've, I've actually been looking into maybe buying a couple of them and getting some of those inserts because they they look like they do a great job my buddy Gil just bought a, uh, a set of them and I, I think he got the Grizzly brand but they um, he, he's really loving them and and they've been working really good and they do a good job also so that's something else I'm gonna look into is maybe getting a couple of those now this is another very common insert this is a TNMG this one right here is actually a uh, TNMG 432 it's got the larger radius and you know this is a big heavy tool here this one's made by Stellram we've got the right and the left of this and uh, we had got these a long time ago to use on the big Monarch we used to use them all the time for doing lots of heavy cutting and you, this one here um, you can see these marks on here from set screws I also use them on the boring mill a lot we've got holders that we can stick these square shank tools in the uh, three quarter and the one inch shank and we use them a lot out on the boring mill also but um, TNMG that's another common insert they're uh, they're not too expensive it's uh, it's kind of personal preference on, on a lot of this kind of stuff of what you really like you know the way this this tool holder here is made it's kind of squared off on this side so you tend to get chips packing up in here and rubbing on your surface so I uh, I didn't really I didn't like it as much as some of the other ones here like uh, this uh, CNMG, you see, I've gone in here and ground this, to kind of give me a little bit of relief. But uh, so that's a uh, TNMG right there, and that's uh, that's pretty much the most common turning tools that I use in my shop. But it's also common with other people too. Now this is something else here that I wanted to show you that that's really cool. I like this. Now this is uh, made by Iscar and uh, it's also known as like their their brand of hard turn inserts I don't remember the exact name of this style insert right here but the what this one was designed for if you if you can see that insert good there this is made for some really heavy cutting roughing if you've got some a uh, lot of large lathe work that you got to do and you got to take a lot of metal off that's where this tool comes in handy and you see the inserts got a very large radius on it and in the way that the tool is designed where the insert is standing up like that it can it can take a lot of pressure and you can bury this insert and take uh, huge cuts with these and I like I've always liked the uh, the, the fit and finish on the is car tools it's just some nice stuff but we've got the right and left of this right here and we've used them I've used them quite a bit and I haven't used them down here in, in the the new shop yet but this is something that I'm wanting to throw in the Monarch and and put to use whenever I get an opportunity when I got to do some heavy turning I want to show you guys this tool right here uh, I've got a pack of the inserts right here LNMX I suppose that's the uh, style of insert and I believe the these are actually kind of obsolete now from this car you know we've had these a long time they they still make this style but it, it looks a little different now the the inserts are shaped just a little bit different I'll pull one out so you can kind of see you actually get four cutting edges on this one right here you can flip it you can flip it around 
and then you can turn it over to on the other side and and you've got four cutting edges now so like I said this is a good one for uh, some really heavy heavy turning taking lots of metal high feed rates man kick that feed rate up you know to <coughs> I don't know 20 25 and really just tear some metal off of the shaft whenever you're trying to uh, make up make some time and and remove some metal so maybe I'll get to show you guys these uh, in the future here I'll have some heavy turning and uh, I'll, I'll pull one of those out and uh, show you uh, here's my one of my parting tools this is also his car you know this is the blade here it's in the tool block and this style here is also kind of become obsolete from his car they, they've changed this insert style now and they don't they don't actually make this anymore so you gotta I mean there's plenty of other brands that's making this stuff that you can buy them from but uh, I was told that their is car is not making these anymore so once they sell out of these that's gonna be it you gotta buy them from the other manufacturers but that's a very excellent style of parting tool for uh, parting and grooving these inserts just seem to last forever. You can do a lot of cutting with these things before you got to change one out. And uh, I believe this, uh, see here's a couple of the inserts left for that. Uh, GTN 4.8 is, is this particular insert for the uh, parting and uh, grooving tool there. And also use high speed steel, uh, the blades, you know, parting blades. I've got those set up. Uh, I was going to talk about I was going to talk about some of these inserts right here. I forgot about that. These are some of the inserts that I've got recently that I really like. I've got a couple different styles. This one right here, these inserts actually don't belong in this kind of metal case. I've, I've got them in here because I didn't have one. But these are one that I've gotten to use a lot that I really like. These are made by Seco Carboloy. And it's the uh, TP2500s. Very, very good insert. I love these things. This is a CNMG431. They, they do a great job of uh, pulling off a nice manageable chip. I just really like these. Uh, these are also known in the book. If You might see these in the MSC cell catalog under the Seco. They're, they're also called Duratomic. They're a little, little more pricey than some but they're excellent insert. They seem to last a long time and they, they break a very nice chip. These right here are actually, these are the Kenna Metal CNNG 431s. This, this, these are the Beyond inserts. Uh, I don't remember what the grade was on these, but they're comparable to the, uh, the, the, it, the Seco TP2500s. And I've, I've used these a lot. You've actually seen me use these inserts right here. But that's the Kenna Metal style. So that's another one that I use in the shop. Use it a lot. Uh, this is the one that Tom Lipton just gave me. CNGP430. I have not used this yet, but we will put that one to use. This, uh, I believe these inserts here actually go through a grinding process. The sides of them look like they're finished ground. They got a really, really nice sharp cutting edge there and, and just a super tight radius on the end of them. So I can't wait to, to be able to use that. And then these uh, these are some of the newer, the ISCAR inserts right here. Uh, not this gold one right here. This was in, that, that was in this pack. I believe that's an Inger Solran insert there. But you can see I've got a few more and this is the this is the WNMG insert but it's the same thing as this CNMG right here so that's just a few extras that I got that I've stuck in this pack and they work great uh, last ones I'm going to show you right here these are just my uh, threading tools that you'll see me use this is one style here I tend to use this more than any of them also known as the lay down style of uh, threading insert you get three tips and uh, I, I, I can't remember all the 
the names of this one. This is a 16 ER type of insert right here. And that's just one of the that's one of the boxes from uh, Carmex. That's the insert there. And I've also got a few of the uh, the stand up style threading inserts also. This is a small one right here. And uh, here's one of my larger ones. And uh, I like using these also. These work really good. Uh, this one right here is a TNMC 43NV. And I believe the smaller one, I didn't think to pull it out of the box. I believe it's the same thing. Uh, TNMC 32NV, I think, is this one, if I'm saying it correctly. But, you know, that's the... That's what the inserts look like right there. These are these are awesome when you got a lot of coarse threading to do, and they're, they're, I use a lot for that. But most of my general threading, I use this style of uh, threading insert right here. All right, guys. Well, that's about it for this video. I just wanted to show you some of the turning tools that I use because. I've had several people ask me, and uh, so I hope that was a little bit informative for you. And uh, just to get anything else, this, these are some of the common tools that I use myself here in the shop. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed that, and uh, we'll see you next time, all right?